Hey, what's going on everyone? Dansby here. I'm going to do my Scuf Gaming Controller review. Um, I've had a couple days to use this thing now, and I have to say, I really like this controller. Um, I haven't gotten used to the paddles yet on the controller, but I'll get back into that in a minute. Okay, so here is the Scuf Wired controller. So you can see I have it with the concave on the left stick and dome on the right stick. I use the, the dome controller, it's like the PS3 joystick on the right. I chose to pick that because I I kind of like them. I like how it moves, it kind of sticks to your finger. It, looks, it feels like, I feel like I have more control with it. So it's one reason why I prefer the um, the dome stick over the concave. I didn't get it on the other stick, mainly because you don't need to have as much control with that. You're not aiming with the left stick. And I've gotten used to it on the Xbox at this point, so that's what I did. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at the top of the controller and the triggers. And you can see that they have these little uh, things right here that can be adjusted with Allen. Actually, they can take them off with Allen keys here. And they, they supply a little Allen key, a small one, I don't remember what size. And you can adjust the height with these little um, things right here. I don't know if you can see right above my finger. And you can adjust the height of it. But as you can see, it stops it a lot quicker. See how fast that is? You can really, like, rapid fire. It's, it's ridiculous. I love it. It's a great thing, and for people who say it's cheat, it is actually MLG approved, so... Go with your dick! <laughs> okay, one of the things that Scuff Controller has that is really special is the back paddles. Other controllers have tried to do this before with the, uh, the button mapping. They, like, put triggers on top. I forget what one it was called. I know Frito did a a, uh, a review on it. I, I really... Anza, that's what it was called, the Anza. And the Anza was really, you know, a, an idea before this, and they had some great ideas, but just... They didn't implement them well, like uh, Scuff did. So, this uh, right bumper over here, it, I have set up as the B button, and the left one, I have set up as the A button. That's what comes default. You could actually button map them to any other thing. It didn't cost like $10 more to do that, or $5 more per bumper. But I think these are the two best buttons, especially if you mostly play uh, Call of Duty or uh, shooters. Generally, those are the same things. So, it's probably uh, your best bet. I also um, chose to do... Uh, the wire controller for a few reasons. One, the, um, like, see over here, it's nice and open. And on the, uh, obviously the wireless controller, it doesn't have that. So it's, I would say it's a little harder to hit the bumpers a little bit. It's a little tight squeeze, but it's not a huge deal. But the main reason why I decided to get the wire controller is that um, the response time is better. Whenever you're using something wireless, it's not going to respond as, any, as quickly as something that's going over airwaves. So if you want to have the best response time and, uh, have the thing help you out a little bit, you know, with actually reacting when you're reacting. Those milliseconds actually come in handy, especially in a game like Call of Duty. We'll just take one final look at this and my uh, review on what I rate it a scale from 1 to 10. When it comes to controllers, I honestly am going to rate this thing a 10. This thing's amazing. You can customize it any, any way you want to um, when it comes to either the sticks or even the look. I got the plain one, the black one, because honestly, I don't aesthetically... I mean, I like the black buttons. That's the only thing that I went for that was like $10 more. But aesthetically, this thing is very pleasing. It's black and chrome. Oh, one more thing I forgot. The uh, the military-grade grip in the back. Right here, you can see that the colors change because of the grip. The grip is like $10 more also, but the grip is fantastic. It's like, you know, if you, if you are having any long gaming sessions, it seems to keep your hands nice and dry. The controller isn't, isn't slipping. It's just a great, great grip. Military-grade grip. That's the... Uh, the last special thing about this that I like. Alright, so hopefully this this will uh, help you guys be a little more informed on the Scuff Gaming Controller. I mean, mine I think cost about 150 bucks, but they range from like 90 bucks to I think about 200 bucks, depending on what you get. And I think if you the more stuff you get, obviously the longer it takes. It took me about two weeks to get this controller, which isn't bad. So, uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully this uh, helped you make your decision on the controller, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye!